my channel. Today we're going to be assembling a basket. You will need 12 inch linking balloons and two 60 balloons. You will need rings with seven balloons. And if you want the measurements, you can buy them from me at balloonartist805.com. I prepared a lot of the material so we can save time. First thing we'll need to do is align the balloons so they sit precisely on top of each other. We're gonna attach them with latex balloons. You can either use 260 or 160. And all you're doing is you are, you are connecting them together. So however, however you can do it, there's no specific requirement. Just all we're doing is attaching them. And I usually pass the latex balloon like this, one over the other, and I'm connecting it to the bottom. So I'm going to tie it up. As you can see, all the balloons stay together. The thing we're going to do is it's called a weave. And I usually start from the top. You can also start from the bottom, but I like to start from the top. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show you how to do this. And I have one already prepared so you can see the final product. All I'm doing is I'm passing the 260 balloon in between the linking balloons. You can also just tie them if you want. So for the weave, you're gonna take, so if you have pairs of uh, 260 balloons, you're gonna take one 260 from each side, you squeeze it so that it's soft, line it up, you're gonna line it up so that um, the 260 balloons meet between the linky balloons. You twist it, and you pass it through the other 260 balloon, or you can tie it, if you want, you can tie it up with a rubber band or another 260. This will just, to keep it in place. Then you take another 260 balloon and the wind right next to it. You can squeeze it to make it soft. And again, you line it up so that it's between the two linking balloons. And you attach them. I attach them to the one on the bottom. That's easier for me than having to tie another one here. Okay, now we're gonna do this again, repeat the process. This is the weave. I have a completed one here so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna leave this one aside. This was just to show you. We need to make a handle. So you'll need 260 balloons, tie them together, and then another 260 balloon, tie it together. You're going to cross them. Take two of the balloons and twist them. Then you're gonna take the ones that were crossed. Then you, you pull them together and twist them. You're trying to get the strands to be about the same measurement. Squeeze it to make it soft. And again, you're trying to make it so they're about the same size. Put them together and you twist. This is what it's gonna look like. So this is gonna be for the handle. I already have a completed handle just so we can save time. And this one has uh, some accessories on it to give you an idea of what you can do. You can use this basket for either to make an Easter basket uh, for Mother's Day, you can put flowers in there, or you can put a gift. You can use it for a hot air balloon. This is what it looks like. I hope you found this.
was helpful and if you want to buy the measurements you can contact me at balloonartist805.com thanks <laughs>